Hi everyone, this video is the last one of this chapter. In today's course, we will focus on Huawei's virtualization products, Fusion Compute. In today's course, I will introduce working mechanism and the network features about Fusion Compute. So, nothing's not say, let's start this course. Let's take a look at the network architecture in Fusion Compute. There are several keywords. The first one is a port group, and the second one is uplink. What is port group? The port that each virtual machine connects to the virtual switch is a virtual port. All ports with the same attributes form a port group. Why do this? Because it is to facilitate an administrator's management. Administrators do not need to configure each port. If each port properties is exactly the same, just to configure for this port group is OK. The second is uplink. The port that the virtual switch linked to the physical NIC is uplink. The uplink is a boundary between the virtual network and the physical network in Huawei's Fusion Compute. It goes up to the virtual network and goes down to the physical network. Each virtual switch has an uplink on the CNA host. If there are multiple virtual switches on this CNA, it will need multiple uplinks. The uplink may correspond to a single network port or link bounded with multiple network ports. With port groups, with the uplink, virtual machines can communicate with each other. How are the data transferred when virtual machines communicate? There are several situations. The first is to using different port group on the same CNA host. Because each port group has its own VLAN ID, different VLAN ID cannot communicate with each other. So, how do these virtual machines communicate with each other? The three-layer switch we talked about earlier can open different VLANs. So, the virtual machines from different port groups, they must connect to the three-layer switch. And then, the data first go out to the layer 3 switch, and then go back across the physical network. And the second case is the same host, the same port group. The so virtual switch is equivalent to a layer 2 switch. Since all hosts are in the same VLAN, their interactions does not need to go to the physical network. Communication is done directly inside the virtual switch. And the third is in the same port group, different CNA host. Because they are different CNA host, they must cross physical network. This picture shows the traffic chain when the different virtual machines communicate with each other. This is very useful for troubleshooting in daily work. For example, if two virtual machines cannot access each other normally, what is the problem? Is the virtual machine's own IP address right? Is the port group right? Does it go out to the physical network? If it goes out to the physical network, is there a problem with the port of the physical machine? Is there an issue with the uplink? Is there a problem with the interface of the physical server? Therefore, the traffic chain is very important. Only to figure out the direction of the traffic, which components have the traffic go through, you can be handy when troubleshooting. The last part, the security group. The security group is a new feature in the latest version of Fusion Compute. The security group, as its name suggests, is used for security. There are a lot of rules in security group, which is used to match traffic. Each rule is equivalent to a warning line. Only after the packet matches these rules, it can be released. If it doesn't match, this packet will be banned. For example, I have two virtual machines here. 
First of all, we need to send the A packet to the right virtual machine, and then it will match the rules one by one. After all rules match, the A packet can be sent to the right virtual machine. If it send a B packet, and the first two rules match, but the package doesn't match the third rule, the packet will be banned and the packet will be discarded. The virtual machine only on the left cannot send B to the virtual machine on the right. There is one more thing to emphasize about the security group. That is, if you get the package to match the rules, you will be released. Another rule is that if you send a package, you will be rejected if the package matches the rules. This is also a rule. Now, let's see two quiz for review. The first one is which of the following fall into the category of not source traffic? The second is what we are can have multiple virtual nets connecting it to multiple virtual switches. Okay, everyone, as a tradition, we have to make a summary at last. In this chapter, we mainly cover the basic knowledge about physical and virtual network used in virtualized environment. But there are many new words, and I introduce the difference between these new words. I mentioned before, these are very important because they will have different effects in different applications. So, you have completely understand all the content of this chapter. If you want to know more detail, you can find them on the three websites. They are Huawei eLearning, Huawei Support, and HCIA Cloud Computing. Okay, everyone. Up to now, you have finished the first three chapters of cloud computing, and you have made a great start of learning cloud computing. Never give up and go on. See you. Bye.